Hi everyone, welcome to the eInc channel. My name is Brandon LaBelle, and I am part of the marketing team here at eInc. Today, we're planning on unboxing and walking through the use of one of our e-paper kits that you can purchase from the eInc kit shop, which we've linked to below in the video description. Following the purchase of a kit, you will receive a link via email with all the necessary software to customize the display, but more on that later. The kit we're unboxing today features the 3-inch Spectra 3100 e-paper display as well as the Hulk driving board, which is sold separately, but let's dig in. The kit includes the Hulk driving board as well as a 3 inch e-paper display and a micro USB that supplies data and power to the board and display. You also need a computer with a USB port to power everything, but the kit comes fully loaded with images right out of the box, making it easy to plug and play. Now for setting up the kit, we'll want to connect the e-paper display to the Hulk driver via the flat cable. Then we want to connect the micro USB to the computer to power the device. There are two LEDs on the board. This LED indicates that the board is being powered, while the second LED serves as a multi-purpose function light. You'll notice it blink when we update the display. While there's already preloaded images on here, we're going to jump to the software tutorial to show you how we updated the files for this display. First, launch the open flash burner file. When the kit is plugged in, it will automatically identify the appropriate COM port on Windows 10 machines and newer. Then press connect. Select load file. And click the initial file .ink and press write data to update the kit with the initial file. To upload custom images, press load image, then select an image. Select image 1 or image 2 to decide the display sequence and press write data to update the initial file into the kit. After the initial data is updated, you should press disconnect and unplug the mini USB to restart the kit. Now let's jump back to the kit and cycle through the images that we loaded. You can cycle through the loaded images via these four buttons. The left button is the white solid state. We can consider that the default state. The right button will cycle through the various solid state colors, including white, black, red, and yellow. And now we'll return to the default state. The top and bottom buttons will cycle through the customized images that we loaded onto the device during the software tutorial. And that's it. As you can see, the plug and play aspect of the e-paper kit makes it a great demo unit to experiment with different use cases and images before scaling a project. You can find more information in the video description below as well as at the e-ink kit shop. Thanks for watching.